Hello Internet, uh, another, yet another disassembly video. Uh, this time uh, something different, uh, RX uh, 590 from Gigabyte. Uh, so the story is that I've purchased this uh, card uh, from eBay for amazingly 25 uh, uh, quid uh, or great, or great British uh, pounds uh, with uh, and the notion that this this card was broken there was apparently a component uh, missing a capacitor uh, so I was like yeah let's uh, buy it and see what it is so it was uh, sold to me as a 580 uh, uh, RX 588 gigabyte, but I don't know if the camera can pick it up. This is a 590 version 2, apparently, as well. I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but, anyways, this is a uh, 590 gaming uh, revision 2, uh, which upon arrival I uh, did a physical check. Nothing was missing from the apparent. Uh, uh, from any apparent component that's supposed to be missing uh, as you can see from um, after I remove the shroud and yeah the card is working fine I tried to reflash the BIOS the BIOS is fine it wouldn't accept a new uh, reflashing uh, so yeah I got this working RX 590 for 25 uh, quid and those bringing everybody a new content and a new video from me so uh, I haven't seen one of these uh, powerhouses for a while so uh, briefly uh, this doesn't have uh, a display uh, port it's just have uh, one HDMI and three display ports uh, sorry the old doesn't have the bulky uh, old uh, connector for the old monitors so it's uh, looking pretty slick uh, on the IO port uh, simple as ever, again, four retention screws holding the card together and then you have on the VRM section these two simple screws to uh, remove. We'll do some uh, basic uh, analyzing and some uh, uh, basic uh, um, measuring of resistance with our trusty meter. But let's get started. So removing the uh, retention screws and the two screws that are holding down the, uh, the base plate to the VRM slowly lifting the card the card is uh, open and you can see here there's a simple uh, for another four pin connector for the fans this card does not have a, any RGBs so we can put it uh, by side that needs a bit of uh, cleaning afterwards but uh, there it is um, so um, VRM section here as you can see here this is the basic component that they thought is missing and it seems kind of out of place but i'm guessing i couldn't find any uh, actual pcb boards maybe i'll need to dig a, bit, a little bit deeper uh but this is uh, missing on purpose um i don't know why because uh, i'm guessing probably because this is the vddci here and it doesn't need as, as so much power so if we lift this pad here this in the rest of the inductors, yes, yes, you can see here, this is R15, this is a different inductor than here, so this is definitely uh, the VDDCI um, uh, port, uh, sorry, inductor rail, and it uh, doesn't need as much uh, power as the rest of the VRM. So this is the part of the VRM that's actually producing power to the core. This is the VDDCI. Uh, this is 12 volts here. Um, let's see some other VRMs. Uh, this should be VMAM. And this is PEX here. Maybe memories, both of these. We'll have to check it out. And these are two. You have two 5 volt uh, regulators here. They're actually, remember, this is a 590. It's pretty. 
uh, power hungry card so it has two uh, five volt uh, regulators uh, chips core you can see here and on the back uh, uh, supposed to be uh, this is 1.8 volts right here and again these are the three inductors that we can uh, measure also 1.8 volts so uh, we'll take some measurements of what again uh, for us to see what are we supposed uh, to measure one probe a bit closer one probe to ground we'll measure uh, PEX first 30 that's absolutely fine we can measure this 12 volt here should be cycling and it's cycling we can measure the other 12 volt here and that's cycling as well we can measure this which I'm pretty sure is VMAM this seems like VMAM and let's check the other one so yeah both these along uh, with uh, their uh, MOSFETs here this is VMAM so two inductors two phases for memory and let's check out the 5 volt regulators it should be this leg 1.8 it's a bit low oh 3.6 look at this there's a difference there's a big difference actually from so both of these regulators are 5 volts but this this lag is 1.8 kilo ohms and the equivalent lag on the other layer regulator is like double so I'm not sure if this is uh, in parallel or not let's check 12 volt side this is should be cycling it's cycling and uh, let's check this 12 volt input that's also cycling so yeah a bit of a difference but uh, yeah and let's check Final but not least VDDCI 33 that's absolutely fine let's check the uh, 12 volts from the PCI cycling that's fine let's check 3.3 that's also fine first data line here 1.6 and 1.6 that's also fine and now at the back of the card uh, here we'll measure um, okay, here's this hole we can measure uh, 1.8 volts near 3000 to yeah that should be uh, absolutely fine and we can also check uh, PEX reset oh what's going on not measuring this correctly should I think I am unless um, uh, I think I was touching something else okay so PEX reset is 4.3 uh, mega ohms as well let me check this this yeah um so yeah everything looks fine you have all the resistances this should be bios here uh no um bios uh, switch for this uh, card so uh, simple bios here uh anything else we can um determine i don't think so uh oscillator is here it should be in the uh four megabyte range as well yep yeah, 4.3 mega ohms of oh, yeah for my bad yeah 4.3 mega ohms sorry and that should be it um uh, for anyone interested i think these paths are it should be one millimeter yeah this should be one millimeter uh, and I'm pretty sure all the other ones on uh, the memory 
these actually look a bit thinner this could be half a millimeter yeah this do look pretty yeah so these are uh, half a millimeter the ones that's uh, touching on the memory and let's check the one here looks like one millimeter and this is one millimeter as well right that's it for this one thank you very much and again see you in the next one